Hey everyone, in this class I will show you how we can use SCP command to copy files from one server to another. So in this case we will be uh, learning about how we can copy files from VM that is Ubuntu VM to the Windows machine and this method works everywhere even it's two different servers like uh, server 2, server 1, any kind of server it may be Red Hat or anything. Okay, so how it works? So we have a syntax of scp command so i will write scp and uh, if you want to copy from like source and destination is there if you want to copy from this server to this server so how you will be doing destination server username at the rate ip colon and the file path okay this is the first case second case is server to destination Sorry, source to destination, SCP, file name, and same uh, destination server at IP, colon, where you want to keep, okay, file path. So I'll just show you how it will work. So the first case is possible as uh, we don't have another server. So I will show you the first case, how it works. So let me just log in into my VM. And for this case to work, uh, your SSH should be enabled. You can check the status of your SSH using system CTL status. Let me just check status SSH. Okay, so it is active and running from last 14 minutes, I guess. Yeah. And also one more thing you have to check in your virtual box, you have to just go into the network and check for network settings. And here you will see you have to you have to make sure it should be as bridge adapter then only it will work okay and you have to check your ip a and uh, your interface it might be ets0 as well or in my case it is enp 0 s 3 and the ip i will be selecting is this one okay so what you have to do i have a file something like ssl setup.txt and i will just copy this file from here to my Windows machine how will it do it so for this I will just go into the Windows machine and open up PowerShell I'll just create a directory Ubuntu files okay let's CD clear the screen to SCP username at the IP which I copied colon where it is present it is present at home I use slash ssh underscore setup dot txt if i'm not wrong okay this is done and then you have to keep the path where you want to uh, download that file so just to enter give the password and you're done it will you can see file is already present in my windows machine so in this way you can simply copy and copy and or download the files from your vm so that's all for this class and i will see you in the next one if you have any questions please ask in the comment section thank you so much for watching